Welcome back to Source Fit Nerd Peeps. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Wood Garrett. And I'll have the Fallout 4 trailers out, but you already know that because you're a nerd and I am too, and we already knew that. Together. We've already seen it a couple of times. You've now. already watched it. So let's get up to speed, light speed, and talk about Star Wars because you see, everything you thought you knew about Han Solo, especially in A New Hope, is about to be completely warped. The cake is a lie kind of shit. Prepare to have your mind blown. Or if you're a huge Star Wars fan that reads the comics and wants to avoid the huge news, you might want to skip forward now because there is a massive spoiler alert happening this second. We're going to spoil some shit. Let's go. Turns out, according to the latest issue of Star Wars, the comic book series, episode six, written by Jason Aaron, Han Solo was actually married during the whole first Star Wars movie. <laughs> Not so solo after all, was he? <laughs> You gotta be joking me, my Garrett. Seriously, see, when was the last time I ever joked about Star Wars? Uh, Except when I say, never top of the odds when I'm about to eat a five day old taco. Or, it's a trap! When there's like anything that could be a trap. Eh. But you know what? This is a serious matter because everything that is put out from now on, whether it's a book, comic, TV series, or you know, the movies upcoming, it's actually a part of Star Wars canon, meaning it's legitimate and it becomes part of the Star Wars history. Yeah, but nothing official has been said about it yet, though, right? It's so we don't on know. printed paper. I know, but like we don't know. Like we haven't heard any. We haven't heard JJ or Kathleen Kennedy or anyone at Lucasfilm go, "Yeah, this is canon." It's set in stone, buddy. So what do we know about this woman? Well, it is a woman, right? Not like a Mon Calamari. Or or like a Beth or a Wookiee or something? It is a woman. Her name is Sana Solo. We don't know very much about her at all, just that she's black, she's stunning, and she wields a blaster like she was born to shoot first, er, uh, <laughs> than someone else. And that the events of this comic take place after A New Hope and the destruction of the first Death Star, meaning that when Han was shooting Greedo on Tatooine, getting squashed in a trash compactor, and getting his serious flirt on with Princess Leia, he was married. <sighs> no, no, Han, that's Dirty Pool. Now there's a few ways this could go, knowing of course that he ends up with Leia. She could be a tad loco and think they're together when they're actually not, or already separated. They could get divorced, which may be a tad difficult to get approved by the Empire when he's a wanted person. Or she could actually die. She might just be dead, making Han a widower. And to add further speculation to all of this, we know that Finn from The Force Awakens is also black, so could Sana and Han be his parents? Uh, I don't know, but nerds are taking this news very differently. Some are letting out a huge Darth Vader. No! Whilst others are embracing the gigantic gigantic curveball that frankly no one saw coming, even with the use of Jedi powers or um, being able to surf through message boards. You didn't see it coming. I totally didn't see it coming. I don't even know if that worked. In more Star Wars news, names are being thrown around on who could fill in for Josh Trank to direct the second standalone Star Wars film in the anthology series. And not only are conversations happening with directors John Favreau, you know, the guy that directed all the Iron Man movies, and also the guy from Swingers, and that movie about chefs that I didn't watch, and Matthew Vaughn, you know, the guy who was doing Kick-Ass and, um, King's Man's. Uh, yeah. There it is. About getting on board, but the basis of the movie is also circulating. Now we've already heard that the second anthology movie could be centered around Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. And the way that they're writing him in the comic book certainly leads up to support that theory. He's a badass. But newer rumors suggest that it'll be about Boba Fett's encounters with a certain smuggler named Han Solo during the events that take place between episodes three and four, including certain familiar faces like Lando Calrissian and bounty hunter Bosk. You know, everyone's favorite second bounty hunter. I Bosk. love Bosk. It's all about IG-88, dude. Oh, hello, what have we here? <laughs> there really is no better time to be a Star Wars fan unless you really have a problem seeing a new dimension shown on decades old characters that you thought you knew inside and out. Look, I'm, 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 I just, I don't know how I feel about it because like I don't necessarily need shit from Han's past coming out as like cool story elements. Like I don't need to know shit about young Indiana Jones even though there was a young Indiana Jones series that wasn't very good even though the concept sounded kind of fun because I'd like to see what Indiana Jones did. Wait, I just contradicted myself. Okay, let's see what Han's up to. So tell us what you think about this huge reveal. Are you okay with Han having a secret past that's only now coming to light, or do you think this will play a part in The Force Awakens? And do you want to see a Boba Fett versus Han Solo showdown in a movie in that's, the future? That's, you know, a little bit more badass than blind Han accidentally pushing Boba <laughs> Fett into a Sarlacc pit, which will be slowly digested over a thousand years. He does have a jetpack, just saying. Comment below. May the source be with you. May the source be with you. I always love when he's like, Boba Fett? Boba Fett? Where? And then he like, yeah, you're right. He accidentally hits him and it's like, ah, it's no, over. buddy. Ah, no. <laughs> Images from the set of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 have surfaced with the first look at Bebop and Rocksteady. And what we can only assume is what the duo will look like 
before their mutated transformation. That's right, Steve. The reactions are certainly aghast in this pic, but if you do take a look at this image of them in their cartoon as human thugs, it makes a lot more sense, especially mm. to someone who's simple like you, Steve. Mm.